this video is like a way to them later. I'm kind of procrastinating on this. But we're going to finally do the review on the Broadway Limited uh, 462. This is, I believe, a USRA. Yeah, I'll have it in the title of the next year. I think I'm the back for right now, and I'm sure we look at it. But I believe it's the USRA. I think. I uh, don't quote me on that. I uh, go based on the title. I, did, I think it is the USA one, but I don't think this one actually is that accurate when it comes to that. So this is a Paragon pre-sound. Uh, there's no back tender light, which I freaking hate. If there is, I don't know what happened to it, but I don't need to like wire slots for it, so I'm, I'm just going to assume doing this. I mean, okay, for Broadway, so this is my first Broadway. No, I'm not even... You know, detail's great. Like, actually pretty good. I mean, those open for some reason. Yeah, well, there's actually detail. This thing likes to pop off randomly because this fireman's an absolutely terrible person when it comes to... I mean, I know it's auto, but like... Like... Yeah, I'm not going to do all the sound effects, because of let's face it, I've uh, probably done the showcases, things in live streams, I haven't done one in a while. Yeah, this is got... I don't know, just turn the whole way. Down on my heart. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have like the nice, like, slow... There's a little sort of a little lower end uh, here, Broadway. I mean, I've seen Broadways now go for like, uh, for the diesels. Like, I've seen diesel switches go cheaper than a Pito, which I'm actually impressed by. So, I mean, okay, tender row, not much. There's a lot of individual piping. I'd say, honestly, like, I think things as a model should be, like, at least for the price you're seeing them as being like 300, 300 and a half. 350 bucks. Uh, not three and a half bucks. I've never almost like that got the PS2. It, it honestly should have more like the tablets, class I, I should have been expecting that for the price of this thing. It's heavy, it runs good, but I really don't have that many fake cars in the layout, so. Let me just do a bit in there. No, I'll get it back. Yeah, there is a second pin, but if I go to that pin. I'm not actually in the rear panel. No, if I go if I go to the other pin, it li literally does not work. So there's no pin having that pin because this gets jammed up and it's just a mess. So it probably shouldn't have that. So in the cockpit, but sounds, but I mean, obviously not as smart. But I don't think this thing is actually equipped for the uh, water pump, but I do see the injector. I'm not going to find the thing down there. Yeah, this thing is so bad. The one of the things I don't like is the sounds. I mean, this is default sound effects. I have not seen anything. Yes, this thing just does have a cobra whistle and map. It's like this speed where I can actually uh, safely not have this thing cut up. There is no um, I keep alive in this. This thing is actually, I think the box is like 2013 built. So this is an older model. It's probably the reason why it's missing so many pictures, but it was 2013. This thing's just been sitting in a store. For God knows how long. I mean, yeah, it's still, I mean, it's still a decent run. 
Um, I do have plans once the Berkshire returns. Timetable unknown that there will be a double heading video with these two engines. Because both same thing. Uh, we, because it's also because it sucks. But the time frame is unknown, and I'm saying that now because it could be depending on what needs to be done. Because I have it set out because I don't really feel like screwing something up, and I don't know exactly what's wrong even when I've looked at it. I've been trying to look at it for like six months. So. Until that happens, we just have this one. Um, trying to get a, maybe another steamer at some point. So I mean, you can find Broadway so much cheap now. Especially the non smoke ones. Because no one wants to buy the non smoke ones anymore. It's like you, you need to smoke it. It's not. <laughs> what you mean? Uh, I want to get one more smoke at some point. This looks cool. Let's go But I mean, yeah, overall, it's actually great. Wow, I mean, it. This one, like, I've had some steam engines, um, or yeah, you, you really get the performance issues, but they hurt. And this is, it includes DC and DCC. But these engines, the drives go to them, like, I've had steam engines, like, where they don't, Perform well, like the Tycos, which I kind of expect, but Bachman, uh, for the price of this thing, yeah. So Bachman, I've had issues with. Model power is great, but they don't have a lot of tractive effort, so they're terrible in that regard. It's all torque. And there's really no way you can put a uh, traction tire on this. You like took basically all the uh, power count stuff. So. But I do have another steam engine, I forgot, but I probably won't double head it just because of the type of engine it is, and it's a high slope. I will, I will be announcing the high slope. It's actually in the mail somewhere. I think it's still in uh, South Carolina, but... So I'll have that in the next couple of days. When I get around to the review is another story, but... And the reason why I'm not going to do geared locomotives double heading almost like the exact same class is just because of that risk of geared locomotive. If you take them too fast, they will break. And it's been known for it typically to happen. So, we're not going to take any chances. But anyways, guys, with that, I uh, thank you guys all for watching. And until next time, goodbye.